what's happening guys i just wanted to give you an update so i have an almost completed model that i 3d printed as you can see i've got one of the inserts in there that was more of a uh, see if i could do it while it was printing i did figure out a way to make that work you can see i don't have an insert on the front one but when I printed this, I found a few mistakes. I had modified a few things, and when you modify one thing, it has a tendency to modify something else. So found a few mistakes that I'm correcting now, and I've got another print going. But as you can see, the color is slightly different. The Ruger is more of a desert sage tan, and this is more of a flat dark earth so until I use up this if I do these as a kit for people probably what I'll do is I'll paint it with the uh, the paint that I have that is very very close to the Ruger and then uh, I bake it to make it nice and hard and that also has the uh, side effect of making the plastic actually uh, more resilient because of the type of uh, filament that I use and it's called annealing so that's where that's at so hopefully uh, I'll have a kit that's ready to go and can be sent out to people for installation and it would have directions for installing the front lug in the stock so that kit would include the front lug how to install it, where it needs to be installed to work correctly to let everything function. So the only thing that would be really required on your part with the kit would be transferring the uh, mag paddle over to the new mag well and then installing the front lug. So it does require a little bit of uh, work on your part but if you have some basic tools and a little bit of uh, handiness it's not too difficult but I'll still offer the service of doing it for people who either don't have the tools or aren't comfortable with doing it. Uh, something else that I wanted to show you guys I was out shooting yesterday I took a buddy out I was teaching him uh, how to work on disassemble and shoot ARs uh, he wasn't familiar with them at all so I decided to bring some of my other guns out and uh, I made some Russian match ammo to see how that would shoot in the Ruger and I actually was very surprised so uh, my first shot that I gr uh, group that I shot with the Tula was up here and I had changed some scopes around, so that's why it was way off. So then I brought it down to get it a little bit closer to point of aim, point of impact. And then this was a three shot group with 130 grain spear 308 projectiles dropped into the 762 by 39 brass. Uh, I was pretty happy with that. That's a little under 0.4 inches for a three-shot group. Uh, the next group that I shot with some reloads was 110 grain Hornady SST on the steel case. And I called this shot. I knew I pulled it. So if I had been more consistent and, you know, put them like that, that would be probably just as good as the spear group. So I was very, very happy with that. And this is in very high winds. If you guys want to look up how windy it was in Colorado yesterday, it was a little bit ridiculous. It was not a ideal day for shooting. Uh, definitely <clears throat> was very, very windy, but this was with a headwind, so it wasn't pushing the bullet around so much as it was pushing me around. Even being on a bench with a lead sled, it was uh, challenging to be consistent. But uh, 
And that was with uh, my 6.5 Brendel that I have built on an AR platform. And so that's the Wolf Group, and that's pretty typical. I get about two MOA uh, with the Wolf out of my rifle, and that's right at one inch. It's just a hair under one inch. So I was very, very happy with uh, those results with my Russian match ammo. But uh, hopefully I'll get a chance to go out and do some more shooting. The kids want to go out and shoot some more. So got to make time to do that. And hopefully I'll have a video of using my printed magwell on the stock. And everybody can see that. And if you're, you've been on the fence about getting this done, you know, maybe you're ready to buy a kit and do it yourself. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, just uh, drop them in the box and I'll answer them when I can. Thanks.